you've posted a couple times about your 15 meter speed or your speed to 15 yep. meters. Um, tell me about the development of that and, and what you've done to make that part of your race evolve. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I started October, 2022. Um, first testings, I was like 5.6 to 15. Um, and then in the Olympic final, I uh, did my best ever 15. I was 5.16 to 15. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is a massive improvement for literally a jump, a couple of kicks underwater. And I think it's like three strokes till I hit 15. Um, so yeah, we're, like you're looking at 0.45 of a second improvement and I've done three strokes. Um, it's, it was, it's such low hanging fruit. The amount of people I see in Australia, and I'd say this is pretty equivalent worldwide who are, let's say they're like 21, nine to 22, two, 22, three speed. The amount of them who have a die 15, that's like five, six, even five, seven down to like a five, five. Uh, these guys could, these guys could easily be in the 21s without any change to their swimming ability from the 15 to the 50, just by fixing that, that first 15 meters, like that jump and underwater. Um, and I, like you, even levels, like I reckon there's, there's a lot of low hanging fruit for people's first 15s to, to really bring that to five, three. Rush. Um, and yeah, pretty much our plan of attack was because I was coming back off a long time, not diving plus my, like my, my, my body was pretty different. I was heavier, I had a, a different, um, strength output, all that type of stuff. We spent the first let's say half a year, eight months, just kind of doing a lot of dives, not trying to intervene and, and just letting like my body find its base point. Um, Cause I went, yeah, when, like when you're reintroducing something, um, you adapt to it over time and you kind of get to a point where you, you kind of find an equilibrium where um, it's about the best you can do without making any technical changes and stuff. So we spent a lot of time just like letting it develop as is. Uh, and then once that kind of settled, then it was basically breaking it down to the time on the block, um, what you do in terms of that jump, the streamline on entry. And then for me, that five to 10 meter segment, because I break out anywhere between like 10, 11 meters. So that five to 10 was really my weak point. Um, I like actually off the block, it's really quick. I'm, um, I can hit the water usually first but then from the five to the ten i'll decelerate tremendously compared to um some of the guys the best in the world at doing that so on the on the block it was initially get your get your max strength up in terms of your ability to jump um your just general leg strength ability um and then the the power power in which you can just yet yeah, vertically jump um, so I worked at getting my vertical jump up. I think I was like 40. This is like hands on hips, no, um, no arm swing or anything. I was like 47 centimeters or something when I started. And then uh, pre Paris, I was 57. So I put on 10 centimeters in a vertical jump there, which is really nice. Um, relatively speaking, it's still a long way off um, other people, like some of the best in the world. But from where I started, really great gains. Uh, and that transferred to the ability to get off the block uh, faster, much better. Um, I think my t we, we, we can track takeoff velocity at QAS. And I think I was like 4.7 meters per second or something when we started. And, and by the end, I was, I was pretty consistently 5.2, 5 5.3 5 um, off the block, which is a pretty big jump in, in takeoff velocity from when you hit the water. Uh, and then after that, it's, it's really just um, mobility. Like the 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 way you can streamline and enter the water in that body shape. Um, long way. Um, we started tracking five meter time. Uh, and then I went on uh, this massive mobility journey with a guy called Matt Smith, um, who like has yeah, fully, fully program mobility that's put on the same pedestal as the sprint training, the gym and everything. Um, it's got its own space in the week. It's got its own like, like blocks and cycles and taper and everything. So uh, went really heavy in mobility. Um, and this guy, like 
he's never swum competitively in his life. Like the, the first time he really, he looked at swimming was when I got in contact with him. I gave him a screenshot of the 50 freestyle from Tokyo just before the, the the guys were entering the water. And without looking at results, without knowing who is who, he ranked pretty much, uh, he ranked the top three in terms of their dive and basically was like, all right, this person's going to be first to 15 and then this person and this person. And he got it all right. Um, and so basically, like, yeah, like he, basically with Caleb, for example, in that example, he was the only one in that race where from ankle to wrist, you could draw a straight line from joint to joint um, upon entry. So like when you hit the water, ultra streamlined and you just go. Uh, and then Flo and Bruno, for example, you couldn't like at some point in that chain, there'd be a break that would be a compensation for mobility. And then that would then have a, an end result at the 15 meter mark. Um, and so we did a ton of work on shoulder mobility, hip mobility. Um, and I think I got my 10 meter time down from like 3.4 3. or something like three, yeah, 3.4 down to about a 308 or 309. Um, and that's purely from the entry. And I think at that point I've done four dolphin kicks or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's, yeah, that's the, the very long story of how we kind of, um, but summarized story of how we, we fix that dive. That's, that's incredible. I mean, that's, it's so, so much work into such little details, but I saw that, yeah. um, the Instagram post about your first getting your first 15 down, but with, with the mobility. Um, and I thought yeah. that was really fascinating and surprising because you don't, I guess some athletes talk about that, but it's not, you know, it's not a widely talked about or very calm, exceedingly yeah. common practice. And yeah. it's like, maybe this should be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of the guys who are world best at this type of stuff have God tier mobility. Um, like you, you look at Jordan's underwater kit, like you watch his 2022 50 short course, where he, the underwater footage of him coming off the wall, um, it's insane. And then obviously Caleb super mobile with the strength to go with it. And uh, like Leon as well with his underwater kicks and everything. And like you, you watch him, he gets out of the pool in Paris and he like puts his hand up to, to wave at the crowd. And it's just like the shoulder mobility is just insane. Pan as well, that like there's videos that his physio and strength and conditioning guy put up doing some overhead, um, like, like pulling exercises and yeah, shoulder mobility is like, like god tier like yeah it, it goes a long way um and yeah, i think it's something that definitely deserves a, a much bigger spotlight 